And I, I saw you have to answer a bunch of these questions. And I think it was set for us to potentially talk about in the first take question. So I assume that you've thought about it a little bit. They're like, is this Brock Purdy or Kyle Shanahan? And is Kyle Shanahan ever going to be able to get over the hump? I think we're all alarmed that the Niners didn't know the overtime rules. I think that was the biggest takeaway sure. from that entire thing. Does that change the way you view Coach Shanahan because of the way that's gone? Because that's kind of how the narrative is starting to cook. What the hell? Are you okay? Some just went down. There. Yeah, but like, yeah, we got we, we we got a blizzard. We got snow falling off. All kinds of things. Be going safe on over there, here. Georgia boy. Be safe over there. <laughs> but like with that that whole overtime situation, do you view that? Do you view Shanahan differently, or or what do you think about his whole legacy now that we're talking about it? I don't listen. I put Shanahan to me. I, you know, I'm old enough to remember when Andy Reid was, you know, Shanahan, right? Like he, he made a bunch of quote blunders in big games. He couldn't win the big game in Philly, right? He was always getting his team close, but they could never close it out. Uh, along comes Patrick Mahomes, and the combination of these two now have put him in probably a top five of all time, if not higher, uh, NFL coach. Shanahan is the same to me. I mean, this guy, listen. He knows ball. The guy can coach him. He coaches his tail off, right? He has gotten Jimmy Garoppolo to the Super Bowl. He has gotten Brock Purdy to the Super Bowl. He's gotten Matt Ryan to the Super Bowl. So the guy understands X's and O's and how to put people in places to win and, and, and get there. That doesn't go away from me because he makes an, an error of, Hey, should we get the ball? The only thing I didn't like about the, the call. And I know now, you know, revisionist history, we're all going to go, oh, we, everybody would have done the same way, but I called guys that night. Who, who were analytical guys, and they were like, listen, a lot of people said to do exactly what he said and, and do it his way. The issue I had was Patrick Mahomes. when you got down to the nine-yard line and, and it's second, third, and fourth down, I would have done it. I'm going for the I'm going for the end zone. That that would have been my only difference. Just run it on third down instead of leading into where Chris Jones comes unblocked as opposed to kicking the field. Because if you don't get it, they got they still have to kick a field goal, which is the same thing. It's a fifth, you know, they got to drive the ball 60 yards because they're backed up. I, I, given given Patrick Mahomes two downs, so that's that's my Shanahan thing. I, you know, that's not the great, but he didn't fumble the ball in the red zone like McCaffrey. He didn't deal with the punt that goes off the guy's foot. Got he it. didn't, you know, he didn't kick the ball low on the extra point that probably finishes the game out. I, I, I mean, this thing could have went a lot of different ways, and the Chiefs know that, and they know that. So, is he perfect? Absolutely not. But is he still, you know, one of the greatest coaches we have in the NFL? Absolutely. And the Purdy relationship, this guy has taken more flack. It's just nonsense. I mean, this kid crazy. has done – it's crazy. Like, this dude has done nothing but play good football. And the problem is, again, like everybody else, is we want to compare he and Patrick Mahomes, which there is no comparison. But he's played in an NFC Championship game twice now. One he gets hurt, one he wins. He played in the Super Bowl and walked off the field with the lead. I mean, I'm not sure what else we're going to ask a guy to do than that. Uh, you know, so from my perspective, I'm I'm you know, I'm, I'm in on Purdy. I think he's a top. Uh, to me, he's a top seven ish or five ish. Like you know, that. quarterback seven. depending list on what them, you're Jeff. looking for. List them, Jeff. ESPN. I'm going to put you to listen. No, I'm joking. I understand what you're saying. No, you well, know what I'm saying. Yeah. Top, top quarter, whatever. Top quarter of the league. Hey, top ten, right. top five, top seven. And he's only in his second year, so I think that's why it's mm -hmm. difficult to rank him because we legitimately have no idea what the hell is happening. And you talk about the Patrick Mahomes comparisons. It's like five years from now, let's see, you know, where Brock Purdy's at. In his seventh right. year, What is because he's already going back-to-back -back NFC Championship uh, games. Are they going to be able to keep that team together? We shall see. Shanahan's going to want to get over the hump at some point. So if they make it in the next five years, we might be watching their dynasty be built. That's right. But boy, in Kansas City, and that's what you said. You talked to the analytical people that night about, you know, kicking off or taking the ball. It's like, I think analytically, it's tough to factor in the fact that there's Patrick Mahomes on the other side. You know what I mean? Like, hey, <laughs> you think you. that's getting to the third possession? That's why they're saying you take the ball. So if it gets to the third possession, you have an advantage, yada, yada, yada. It's like, okay, the rule changed because that guy mm -hmm. on the other side right over there, <laughs> right. It, yeah, did not allow it to get to another position. But, but, so let, me, but let me ask you this. Because, because, but, let, let me ask you this, D. Like, if you're, if you're the deepest, like, you've given up 19 points. You know what I mean? Like, like that's a pretty good day. Like, like it's not like they were just. I mean, the last drive, he definitely moved it down. Like you said, they ran out of time. But man, they played some pretty good ball. It's almost like he kind of trusted. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna hold up for the field goal. My defense has played well. Again, it, would I have done it? Probably not. But is it egregious? I, I don't think. Agreed. It is. I agree completely. I, I think there's a lot. You said you take the ball. Yeah, I mean, you Kyle Shanahan, you the head coach, you the, you're an offensive guy. Give me the ball. My defense just gave up that drive. Give so me in college in overtime, do you, you want to be on offense first or second? 
I'm going to defense first. But okay, well, what if it's an offensive Patrick play call? Mahomes head coach? just drove the ball the length of the field pretty much, kicked the field goal. Defense, you know, let them get their time to adjust. Once again, I, I take the ball first. I'm an offensive guy. This is why I wear this hat. I'm the greatest offensive mind in football right now. Let me get my, my guys the ball, drive down, get a score, and then I'm going to trust my defense to hold up. That's to win the game. Put, to win the game. Yeah, I got you. But I, I mean, It's a lot easier, I think, whenever you know you're going for it on fourth down. Like Patrick Mahomes went for it on fourth down a couple times during that overtime mm-hmm. drive, or at least once, I think. Yep. And it's yeah, like yeah, they knew they had to go for it there because mm-hmm. they knew exactly what they had to do on the other side. It's almost like the college one. I, the third possession, I can – I don't know. It, it, players got to execute. You score a touchdown there. Who cares? Yeah, yeah exactly. You know, like right. that is got to execute. There's not even a conversation about it all. But it is a fascinating new little wrinkle that strategy and to kind of put a bow on this entire thing. I think Chris Jones or Drew Tranquil or both of them said that. Uh, Andy Reid had like full meetings about mm-hmm. what we're going to do. Yes. If this goes to overtime, this is how we're going to handle it. We're going to go for two. Like it was a full on thing. And then you hear like a guy from Harvard who's on the Niners be like. Oh, I didn't know that was a role. It's like, well, wow. Andy Reid had full wow. meetings, and you know that's that's like one thing to hold against Shanahan until he wins, which we all think he certainly will. 